nada. I can see. I can see. How's about that then? <clears throat> Hello everybody, hope you're well. Yeah, so <clears throat> I've not been seen since the Monday before last. Um been quite poorly, <laughs> honestly. So I had quite bad conjunctivitis, which I said on the stream on the Monday, and that lasted all week. And towards the end of that week as well, I uh, started to get a bit of a virus, which is still with me. <clears throat> um, but thankfully, after the visit to A&E on Sunday, got some stronger medication, because um, the over-the-counter stuff just wasn't touching it. Um, and it was in both eyes by that stage. But thankfully, got some stronger stuff in me um, and literally like just a few days ago it started to clear up and so yeah and obviously I've been having this virus and coughing and going from really bad last week to being having a really bad sore throat and being unable to swallow and earlier this week I s sounded a bit like um, Ian McShane for quite a lot of it so I've been walking around going Jonathan just walk away, Jonathan. And stuff like that. Um, but yes. Anyway, apart from that, um, hopefully normal streaming will return. I need to rest these eyes a bit more, quite frankly, so I'm not going to be playing a game tonight. <clears throat> um, but hopefully, come next week, um, aiming for probably Tuesday, just because WrestleMania weekend is upon us, and it's now a full weekend. Um, and I'll be watching Sunday night on the Monday evening, I reckon, um, when the kiddo is going to bed. So chances are I'm not going to have time to stream, sadly, on Monday. But I'll knock on and um, hopefully be on on Tuesday or Wednesday and hopefully get some kind of semblance of normality back and hopefully start streaming all three games again. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Um, but anyway, that's enough waffle. That's the plans of the future. That's been what's going on in my life. I hope you are well and certainly a lot better than I am. Um, just seeing, because these were actually quite um, quite inflamed the other day. Um, but it doesn't look, looks quite good now. Looks quite good. Literally, most days last week, they were just sealed shut with um, crusty eye bogies. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get to the main event of what we're doing today, and that is talking about WrestleMania 39, which is upon us once again. WrestleMania goes Hollywood with the main event right there. We've got the lineups here, uh, but night one and night two, thanks to the good old peeps over at Cultaholic. Um, if you don't check them out, do check them out. They are very, very good guys. Um, but yes, we'd, let's just get straight to the lineup, shall we? And we can put in our predictions so hmm, um, first match I believe the first match is actually going to be Austin Theory versus John Cena um, for the United States Championship I believe that is going to go on first and certainly that's a lot of the rumours that's going on as well and I'll be surprised quite frankly I'll, I'll be expecting that because I'll be surprised if Charlotte Flair isn't main eventing night one um, I think that's going to definitely be the case so First one, Austin Theory, John Cena, United States Championship. This, here's the thing. Last year and previous year has been quite easy because old man Vince was in charge. Old crazy Doolally Vince, predictable as ever. Now, Triple H is involved. Now it's completely new. So now, whereas before I was getting like a good 75% um, prediction shots, this time, I don't know if I'm even going to get a third of these right. Maybe a third, maybe half. I don't know. And this one is one which I just don't know because every part of me thinks Austin Theory should take this match um, and could, should come out on top with John Cena giving him a good old push. Uh, but then again, part of me is thinking, is John Cena going to have a little bit of a run with the US title only to drop it against Theory? At backlash or something so I just don't know I'm going to say theory still because the wise money's on theory and I'm going on theory but if you wanted a bit of a surprise and I wouldn't be surprised to see old Cena 
picking up for one last time, maybe bringing out the spinner belt just for old time's sake, you know, um, before his, um, because I, I dare say he's got not many, not many years left for his last thing wise, so I dare say this might be one of his last, um, so I dare say he'll be on a, a little bit of a, a goodbye kind of thing, like I say it'd be quite nice to have more than one match with those two guys, um, can definitely see him win it and then drop it back to theory but for this purposes theory gets my foe uh, so let's go down to the bottom Strowman and Ricochet versus Viking, Viking Raiders Alpha Academy Street Profits <laughs> you know what I honestly don't know on this one I think this one it would depend entirely on how the wind's blowing on the day um, I'm going to say Viking Raiders for the moment I could be wrong on that completely it could go to Alpha Academy. Just don't know. Quite frankly, it's and it doesn't really matter. Um, do I want to put like Alpha Academy over actually? Over Strowman and Ricochet though. Mm, I'm going to say Strowman and Ricochet actually. Um, yeah, and there's going to be. Mm, oh, am I? No, I'm not going to say Street <laughs> Profits. You see, it could be any one of those. I'm going to say Viking Raiders. Stick to my original guns, Viking Raiders, and there's a reason for that, which I'll come to later on. Um, yeah, Viking Raiders, locking in. Viking Raiders will win this match. If not, Alpha Academy. If not them, it'll be Street Profits. If not them, it'll be <laughs> Sherman and Ricochet. I can see Sherman and Ricochet having a falling out after this match, though. And having a bit of a to do with each other, because that I don't get that tag team at all. Anyway, the Mysterio fight, Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio. For me, there's only one winner, and that's Dominic. Dominic's got to win this, whether it's through shenanigans or not. Um, I don't see there's there's literally no point in Ray being put over, um, particularly if he is retiring. Um, as the rumour is, particularly as he's going in the Hall of Fame, I can see Dominic winning this one. Um, and I think he'd want to put over his own son as well. Seth Rollins and Logan Paul. This is another tricky one. Um, because Logan Paul hasn't had a good few matches of late. Um, he's lost his, his most recent few, hasn't he? Um, so, in all honesty, normally... I think it's WrestleMania or Logan Paul put over the celebrity. But this is different. Logan Paul's contract's coming off. Apparently he's due to sign an extension as well. But it's coming off. So I think Rollins, Rollins is going to win this. And yeah, I think we're going to see a bit of an upsurge for Rollins again. Yeah, Seth Rollins is going to win that match. Don't know if I'm going to be right on that one, but there we go. Uh, Becky Lynch, Lita and Trish versus Damage Control and I was surprised because I thought this would be for the women's tag titles um, but I don't know if it is or not it doesn't say that it is um, I know it's a triple, three way triple tag but Freebird rules you know Freebird rules are fine um, who's going to win this one mm, I don't know you know because they've got the title if the titles aren't on the line then Damage Control are going to win it aren't they that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, Damage Control are going to win that. Locking in, Damage Control are going to win that fight. It would be nice to see Lita and Trish win, but because they are the title holders as well, and it doesn't look like this is for the title, I'm going to say Damage Control are going to win that fight. Um, Usos and Sammy and Kevin. <clears throat> going to say something controversial here. I think the Usos are going to retain Usos are going to retain that and that's why I think the Viking Raiders are going to win this match so that they can then go in to um, challenge them again um, but I can't see Sami Zayn, it would be it would be nice for Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens to win um, but I don't know if that's going to happen I think, and I think it will be bad on the Usos quite frankly I think Usos will retain um, 
again they've got people to help them um, so maybe they'll get the help but who knows who knows uh, I might be wrong on that I'm gonna say Russo's there and Flair versus Rhea Charlotte versus Rhea this is another tricky one um, I can't see Rhea winning but <clears throat> Just because I think if Rhea does win, she's gonna go over big time. I think because she's she's always she's like on the cusp of going over in a way, and she's in a heel faction. She beat Flair last time at WrestleMania, didn't she? Um, <clears throat> am I right in that she did beat Charlotte in last time? I might be wrong. No, I'm sure she did beat her, didn't she? I can't see it happening again. Yeah, I'm going to say Flair's going to retain. She's only just got that title as well. And Charlotte's meant to be the face here. I'm going to say Flair is going to retain the title. Charlotte Flair will retain the title locked in. That's what I'm saying. And that's going to the end of night one. Could be completely wrong on several of those. But that's my predictions right now. So let's go into night two. Night two, we've got even more stuff going on. So let's go from the bottom right now. We've got um, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez versus Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler versus Natalia and Shotzi versus Chelsea and Zonya, Sonya Deville. Um, Ronda Rousey and Shayna should win that one out of all of those guys, everyone else. Yeah. Wonder Rousey, Shane, I think they, they're the ones that's going to go over and I think they're going to get a bit of a push as well. Um, <clears throat> particularly if um, Becky and uh, Trish or one of the guys, or is it just Lisa and Trish actually, that have the tags. No, it's Becky and Lita. Becky and Lita, I think, have the tags and Trish has just tagged on. Um, and I can see Wonder Rousey, Shane and are going after the tag titles with, against those two. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm locking in. One of our seen Shayna Baisley for match one night two. Brock Lesnar versus Omos. <sighs> Lesnar's coming to the end of his contract. <laughs> he literally doesn't get anything from beating Omos. So I'm going to say Omos is going to get the big rub from old Brock. Um, and if it's match two, as that looks like it is, it's going to be a short one. <laughs> because... If box on early, it's because he wants to go back at it. So, yeah, Omos is going to win that one, I've got a feeling. Um, Edge versus Finn in pff, a feud which has lasted forever. Um, or it feels like that. I'm torn. I think, because it's Hell in a Cell as well. Everything says... I'm going to say Finn, actually. I'm going to say Finn is going to win. Um, I might be completely off on that. But I'm going to say Finn is going to win. Demon. Return the Demon. That's the point. Return the Demon. Edge versus the Demon. And it's Hell in a Cell. It's going to be a big event. Finn's going to win. And I think he's going to go over Edge on WrestleMania. Yeah, that's, that's what I think is going to happen. Now, this is an interesting one. Gunther. Uh, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus Sheamus, Sheamus yeah Sheamus Sheamus for the IC title um, <clears throat> normally um, Intercontinental Championships are um, two people bouts the fact that it's a triple threat means that Gunther could lose the title without losing the title and it wouldn't affect his character and standard um, and let's face it, even if you did go and lost against either Sh Drew or Sheamus, it's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? Um, I, and he's been he's got that championship for a long time. If he doesn't drop it now, I don't see who he's going to drop it to. So the winner of the match, I'm going to say Sheamus, just because it's a bit of heat against Drew. Um, I can see Sheamus covering Drew for the title. I can't see Drew necessarily covering Sheamus, but I can see Sheamus covering Drew 
so that he wins the title. So I'm going to say Sheamus is going to win that match um, and become the new Intercontinental title champion. Um, now it's the War Women's match. Um, Bianca Belair and Asuka. And I think Asuka's going to win this one because Bianca's had it for such a long time. Um, and I think... I don't know if I'm right this, it's starting to cool off a little. I think it needs a bit something fresh. Um, so I think Asuka is going to pick up the War Women's Championship with her new persona as well. Um, that's what I think. So it would be quite a nice big win for her. I've just thought then, that's all three changing hands on the same night. Is that going to be right? Actually, yeah. Yeah, let's let's wrap up night two and I'll explain my thoughts there. Uh, so night two, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Uh, whoever's betting on Roman Reigns to win is going to lose, quite frankly. It's going to be Cody's night, which is a sad thing. Um, because in an ideal world, this is what I would do. Right, If I was booking this match, I'd have Roman retain the match. Roman retain the championship. Then go on to Raw. Um, for a big celebration where Sami Zayn comes over and wants a rematch for the title that night on Raw and I would put the title onto Sami Zayn on the Raw after WrestleMania having defended it successfully against Cody Rhodes personally that's what I would do and then when it comes to WrestleMania backlash you can't really do the rematch of Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes because the title isn't involved so it will be a triple threat um, it will be Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn versus Cody Rhodes for not only the undisputed title, not only the universal title, but it will also say it will be a two four match so that we can have the, the WWE Championship and then the second ball for the Universal Championship. That way Cody Rhodes and Sami Zayn can both pin Roman each separately. Title division, boom, everyone's happy. That's what I would do in a in a beautiful world, perfect world and everything, and that would certainly help with the fact that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens wouldn't win tag titles. That's what I would book, but I'm not a booker, and I'm certainly not in those guys' heads, so uh, there's no chance that Roman's going to win. It's going to be Cody, and supposedly we're going to get a new title as well, so um, that's why, otherwise I'd have loved for them to split the title, but it looks like we are just going to get a brand new single title instead in the upcoming uh, weeks, maybe following WrestleMania, maybe even days, maybe even tomorrow night, we're going to see it, who knows not tomorrow night, um, Monday Monday after um, WrestleMania the Raw after WrestleMania anyway, that's what I think, so that's all my predictions for uh, Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes <clears throat> so yeah, Cody's going to win um, but something I just thought is the fact that you've got one title change, you've got two title changes and you've got three potential title changes. Compare that to night one, where I said that not a single one would change, which makes it quite nice. And I wonder if that would that's going to be how it is. Because isn't that interesting? I've only just realised that. So all of night one, I don't think any of the championships is going to change hands. Night two, all of them are. I've just noticed that. Does that mean it's going to happen? Who knows? Probably not. Um, there are going to be some curveballs. And I'm going to be probably quite a fair bit wrong on them. But either way, it's going to be a fun night. Um, or two, as is the case. WrestleMania 39, God, 39. Same age as me. Only mine's coming up a few weeks after. <sighs> How did that happen? Next next year's WrestleMania 40. Good God. WrestleMania 40. Black Castlemania 4X. Okay. Right. That's me. That's me done my waffle. I'm sorry if you couldn't quite hear today because of my crappy voice and throat. But you know what? At least I'm alive of a certain point of view. Um, normal service should hopefully return next week other than that it's Friday it's the weekend enjoy yourselves have fun
take care of yourselves and each other watch the wrestling um and enjoy it's wrestlemania baby oh tell you what if, if if copyright wasn't be an issue i'd totally play um wrestlemania theme or slam jam or something right now um but that's not going to happen so there we go i could sing it we're going to be team and we're to get the game no i'm not going to sing that okay Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a good one. Hopefully normal service will be resumed soon. Enjoy your weekend. Good night, everybody.